Good morning. I live. I walk again. I see the sun. And I see friends. It's a good way to start the day. <laughs> All right. So, this is a beautiful morning. I, uh, I, I did take yesterday as a zero on trail. It was wonderful. I just laid there in my sleeping bag all day and napped and was on my phone. I was in a spot that had phone service, so that was nice. Good way to pass the time and kind of feel normal. Uh, so it was awesome. Uh, Sauce and Queen Bee, they caught up to me last night. It was starting to get dark, so I wasn't sure if they were going to make it just to that horse camp or make it up to me. And they pushed a little and they made it. So, awesome. I, uh, I feel pretty good. Yesterday, my feet felt raw. I was afraid I might get some blisters, but no, no such bad luck. I, uh, feel like I can do a normal day today. I probably could have did a Nero yesterday. I woke up around 10 in the afternoon, but I promised myself the zero and I will deliver. I did deliver it. But yeah, today uh, I am just about to reach the high point of the day. <laughs> so that's awesome. It'll be pretty much mostly down the rest of the day after about five minutes from now. So it'll be a very good post zero post 51 uh, recovery day. Hello birdie. Uh, yep. So that is how it's going to be today. Uh, pretty much, I only have a hundred and change left. So, the countdown is on. I think after today, yeah, after today, I'm going to be in the 90s. So, the countdown's really on, ladies and gentlemen. I have to prepare myself for a normal life again soon. All right, we're getting to the other side of the hill now. Looks like we may be saying goodbye to the Mojave. Goodbye to the land of windmills. And uh, let's see, there's a bear campground. I hope there aren't any camping over there. I'd hate to spoil their the time. But yeah, now, uh, we're getting much closer to where it all ended. We're getting closer to the frogs. Oh, how I despise those frogs. Some people think of Mexico or Canada as the goal, the terminus. For me, it's the frogs. All right. Looks like bear camp has uh, some bears around. Yeah, you can see the footprints here. Some footprints of other things too. Oh man, this area is kind of wild. Yeah, got a whole bunch of prints. This is the busy trail. I guess I'd. Uh, I better keep singing songs to inform the locals that I'm here. That way they move out of the way. They don't like my voice of singing. Uh, I guess. Ooh. Well, okay. Yeah, there we go. A little wild there. Yeah, yeah. My the singing voice doesn't get me any fans, but it's okay. At least I don't get mauled. 
Yeah, now it's starting to feel like I'm in my backyard again. What a difference some hills and mountains make, right? I mean, yeah, I'm not in the backyard, but I'm a couple streets down. Oh, look at that dude. Ew. I don't know what it is. I didn't step on it, by the way. That's somebody else's footprint. He's just chilling there. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a insect person. Oh, wait, maybe I'll use the thing. Well, it didn't give me the full thing, but it said it was something around the area of like a Central and or South American Jerusalem cricket. So if that means anything to anybody, uh, there you go. It's a quail, it's a quail. Run little quail. There was a bunch of them. I just barely had time to pull out my phone. I see the little guy running away. Birdie. Lots of birds in here. I mean, plenty of little perches, right? All right, water source. The trail is down there. Oh look, there's, I think that's where the, the thing is. Let's see. Yeah. Well, yep. So I could potentially get water from here. I think that thing is the other option, but we'll see. On this day, we give thanks for our cisterns and water tanks. It, uh, Smells a little funny and it tastes a little funny, but it filters fine. And uh, there were only like a couple bugs floating on the top. So better than, you know, you'd expect. No dead rats, no girl from the ring hanging out in there. So if I, if I do die, uh, post my obituary somewhere around here so people know, but otherwise it's good. What the hell happened here? Is that like a blonde wig or something? A white haired wig? I don't know what this is. Very strange. To ensure we don't get off trail, we have guiding posts here. These are very important ant hills, mole hills even, maybe, who knows. Can't step on them. Hey, check it out. This is the 500 mile mark for those, well, thinking about where Mexico is, 500 from Mexico. Very nice. I love being on the saddle, but you get to see all the cool stuff, you know, the different directions. So I had my suspicions, but it was confirmed. This is Poodle Dog brush so uh this is a poodle you don't want to pet you know uh kind of have the same effect as poison ivy or poison oak as they say so yep don't touch it's uh it's pretty prevalent here in socal in the burn areas um it was kind of a big topic of discussion for hikers when we were going through the Idlewild area. Though I, I do remember seeing it, I just didn't I, identify it properly back then, I don't think. Never had any problems with it, but, you know, the secret is don't go around touching every plant. So, there you go. Crouching Log 
Hidden Poodle, starring Spruce Lee. All right, let's see. To avoid any poodle dog bush incidents, we've been road walking. Because, remember, poodle dog bush is an invasive species, thrives where there have been burns. So, it's uh, thriving over here. So that's that hill that I said was really cool looking. Right there. We were on the other side on the hills over there. And we kind of just went from all the way over there and then we looped around over to here. Pretty much the big horseshoe. Uh, that's quite a distance to kind of just do a, do a C formation at, you know? All right, folks, I just checked the map. I'm officially counting down from 100. I'm a couple past the 100 mark, so. Yep, the countdown is on. Check it out, it's one of the little mine shafts or caves or whatever. <clears throat> Yeah, it's pretty deep in there. It really goes in. Ho ho ho. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna check it out. Hopefully we don't run into any bobby cats. There we go. Oh wow, this is actually kind of deep. Wonder what they were mining for. Let's see. I don't see any gold. Shucks. Looks like some kind of maybe nesting over here. Oh, check it out, somebody lost their wire. If you wanna charge. Oh, is that? No, it's just the coloring. Oh, look at that. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it goes in pretty deep here. Pretty exciting. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Oh. I'm sure it's like fool's gold, but wow. Pretty neat though, right? Oh, look at right there too. It's all shiny. Here we go. That's probably a better one to look at. Interessante. Pretty neat. All right, well, I uh, don't want to become a cave dweller, so that's not what this is all about. So I suppose I'll keep going. Back up, oh look, somebody had some potatoes and some tea. Oh, okay, time to go. Check it out, mining cart. You can see that they had something going on here. Who knows, who knows what they were mining. I wonder what happened. Looks like somebody failed an idiot check for their glasses. These are prescription. It's going to be an awfully hard to find them again. All right. 
Trail magic. There's water. Very important. It looks like uh, there's tainted trail magic here. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the purpose of adding that is. Maybe it's a uh, to keep it sanitized. Uh, first aid band aids. Oh, that's nice. There's trash. We could put our trash here. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, they're sitting. There's supposed to be snacks, but there's no snacks. Very unfortunate, but oh well. <laughs> Yum. Less than 100 miles to go. Less than 100. Add a boy. I gotta load up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so we hitched into town and we went to the Rock Inn. Uh, there we met Warren, the owner, and he said that we can stay in his little parking space over here and camp out here. So that'll be nice. We'll hitch in the morning. <sighs> yep. What a cool dude.